My hands are ashy. Maybe I should close my door. <laughs> it's Naya and welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you are new here what's good I'm Naya and my little name is pronounced Ndaye I like you should stick around and subscribe because baby girl I'm trying to hit 100k on YouTube this year oh also I wanted to say that I'm sorry y'all can't see my lights y'all can't even see my lights all the way but y'all know if you watch my videos for real you know I got like the period anyways currently right now is 12 15 in the morning the day that you're watching this and I'm about to film a Q&A oh and just because you don't know currently I'm like blowing up on tiktok so if you're from tiktok what's goody we're gonna keep our tiktok craziness on tiktok but we can be regular over here i believe you don't know q a is basically a question and answer video and everybody's telling me to do a q a there's something in my eye without further ado let's just get into these questions quick real quick i am dropping merch march 1st so i want y'all to all go follow that instagram and then that website will be coming soon one of the questions i got was how old are you i am 18 years old my birthday is september 27th how long have you been on tiktok i started tiktok in the summertime of last year but i wasn't like you know crackhead tiktok addict until like november is what slash who inspires you to be you hmm i wouldn't say a person inspires me to be me seeing other people act certain ways inspire me to stay myself you know because it's like I don't want to ever like be like them. Definitely like encouraging comments and like the support I've been getting, especially recently. Wait, pause. I keep yawning, so it's over. Full send. That's gonna wake me up for sure. Who's your biggest idol? I don't have any idols. I feel like that's weird to have like idol. Well, it's not weird to have idols, but like personally for me, I don't like the way that sounds. Like I don't like the thought of like idolizing someone. Like, I do admire a lot of people and look up to a lot of people definitely remy ashton i don't know if y'all know who that is but like she's so chill and like cool and i feel like she really has her shit together i like her lifestyle how collected she is also tana mojo <laughs> those two people are like polar opposites but like i just like how like raw and real tana mojo is but then i also like how like in her own bubble miss remy ashton is oh how are you so pretty thank you so much and i don't you gotta ask my mom that's such a corny response. Why are you so good at dancing? I love you. Okay, I love you too. And bro, I find it so funny that I'm getting popular and I went viral for dancing. I literally don't understand. Me and my best friend, we were in middle school, like in our gym, making dub smashes. Good morning to you. And then we had Musical.ly too. I guess I'm just good at dancing because like I spent my whole life learning like little dances and no I'm not a choreographer. Somebody commented yes ma'am okay yes sir. What inspires you to get up every day? By the way I love you. I love you too and thinking about my future inspires me to like keep going every day. Thinking about the fact that I can be like a big inspiration to people still be in college you know making money like let's just keep it real getting a bag. Do you have a crush? Oh, I definitely have a TikTok crush if that's what you're asking. He has 1 million followers on TikTok and he follows me also. So if you know who it is, then screen record this and send it to him and tell him to date me. Because I'm down. In real life, I don't have a crush. I am interested in someone. I'm not crushing. It's just like, you know, we're vibing. I hate that I say that so much. Like, I'm always like, yeah, we're vibing. You know the vibe. Okay, not a question, but I love your content. Thank you. Okay, but like, how can I be as pretty as you? Stop it. Any advice to seniors that you wish you knew in high school? Go ahead and see some new colors. But I think for specifically seniors, it's just... Don't stress. I mean, if I'm being real with y'all, skip a few classes here and there. Me and my friends, we lived our best lives senior year and had basically everything on the IHOP menu. You're never going to be in high school again. So, like, I just feel like you should, like, live it to the fullest. I lived, like, a pretty good high school experience. I've had, like, the fair share of ups and downs and, like, good, 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 good and great, great, great times and, like, really bad times, too. You deserve the hype. Aww. <laughs> Ah, my tongue's itching. I'm gonna chill out on the Pixies too. Um, favorite movie? Columbiana or Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Those have been my favorite movies for like, I don't know how long. But animated movie is the B movie. Favorite food slash color? Food, I love. Hmm. I'm like here with anything like really good but healthy. Like chicken pesto from Tropical Smoothie. I can eat that every day. Like, no. My favorite color? Any, any shades of like blue? purple too it's my skin routine i'll have a link down below like once it's springtime i'll do a whole nother video but like i should update something like that every season hopefully by then vanity planet has sponsored me so like i don't know 
upload this video up and send it to them now moving on to the instagram question so where you work at i work at foot locker hopefully soon i'll be working for myself making six figures but i don't know i'm just speaking into existence don't mind me what are some of your goals for 2020 definitely hit 100k on youtube get closer to god i've been doing that period that's probably why my life is going so good right now travel more no that's in the words like start my first year of the college that i'm going to what's your love language oh this is a really interesting question our five love languages so first is words of affirmation acts of service receiving gifts quality time and physical touch i have two out of this list and definitely words of affirmation quality time i personally feel like your love language doesn't have to be specifically within your like relationship with like your other half it can be with your friends too the words of affirmation thing is just i love when like i'm bouncing positive energy off of people if if I'm talking to anybody they're definitely gonna be like on the same like wavelength as me has something going for themselves like in college as old as I am or like older I just love we could talk positive about it and like give each other like creative feedback so quality time like okay for me I love spending time with the people I love well not love because I don't really love everybody but you know I don't know when I'm around them I'm clingy when I'm not around those people I'm not clingy if we're like both busy I'm not gonna be whining talking about oh, I want to see like no like we're gonna be working we're gonna be making our bags how much do you love Hassan if y'all don't know that's my friend son i actually do love son a lot like and it's weird because i'm about to go off again seriously you guys like it's crazy how like you can build a connection with somebody that you've never met before but like the connection is there and quick little brief story about how we met um i was scrolling through twitter one day and one of his tweets for his brand was going viral for his jeans and he was looking for brand ambassadors so obviously i commented on it and then he like immediately dm me and i was like oh this is a scam because y'all know my past so i'll have both my scam story times down below we just started talking and then we exchanged numbers and then we were just texting and facetiming and like we just became like this i don't know i feel like it's because we were both young and like we both have businesses i'm getting like more tired and tired as this video goes on somebody asked what's the meaning of life i don't know what's the meaning of life i feel like the meaning of life is just to make it like make it the best you can make favorite jordan jordan ones obviously i cannot wait until i get rich so i can afford like a whole wall of them i promise you guys i without a doubt will have a whole wall full of jordan ones over for you hoes favorite food i know i had this question earlier but now i'm thinking about it and like my favorite food is definitely thai food i love thai food it's so good where would you move to i moved to chicago for sure seems like a pretty cool state you know I'm canceled. <laughs> restart. I'm gonna restart that like it didn't happen, but I know when I'm editing, I'm gonna put this part in the video. This is embarrassing. But where would I move to? I would move to Chicago. Seems like a really cool city. So how did So Where start? I was on FaceTime with my dad. We were talking about we were talking about something. Ever since I was like 13, 14, 12, I've always wanted a clothing brand. Like I literally still have my sketchbooks. And then he was like, you know what? You should like start like a t-shirt business or something like that. I said, Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And then two days later i came home from class one day and there was like huge boxes on my porch inside of those boxes was a heat press a crit cut you know if you want to see me like working with all that stuff my series will be linked down below at night i literally sat and like i just thought of everything and the reason is so weird if you don't know so it means sister in french and it's so weird because the brand is owned by my sister and i so so weird means sister but just in case you were wondering i'm dropping my merch and like i'm starting my own like personal brand because that's always been a dream of mine. Instagram is shop and diet A. Hey, you see what I did? It's so cute, isn't it? Favorite childhood memory. Okay, I have three childhood memories. First one, I vividly remember like being with my god sisters. And we would just sit and eat lunch. How you had like the cartoon theme like pop out like tables we would sit and eat like our lunch at that table my mom and my godmom would just be in the kitchen like cooking or like whatever they were doing oh actually i have four okay and then another one is i don't know how old i was turning but i remember my mom threw me this big birthday party and it was in our house there was like kids everywhere i think and i remember she was like making like mix of something i remember it was my birthday party and it was like so extravagant my third memory is definitely me him 
and then my other uncle we would be in his room playing mortal kombat for hours and it was just so fun if you're wondering that's why i'm so good at mortal kombat now what are your goals in life okay so goals in life is definitely to become a brand marketing manager if you don't know what that is it's basically like i'm gonna be marketing behind the scenes for brands so say like if nike wants a new design i'm gonna be the one like coming up with the design coming up with ways to um execute the design and all that stuff is to travel the world um make six figures be able to pay like all my mom's bills and like house and everything like i wanted to just be able to give back to everybody that's ever given to me what are your goals for your youtube channel so y'all know 100k 2020 period i feel like i make good content and like appealing content already i just don't know how to word things a lot so like i feel like people like always miss over like my really good like videos or something like that because like i just didn't title it correctly definitely networking i feel like i'm kind of bad at that because i feel like everything is a scam with 100k one of my biggest goals is to also get some sponsorships this year i have specific brands i want to sponsor me but like obviously yeah <laughs> feeling like i did too much mama made it vanity planet fashion nova boohoo what inspired you to keep doing youtube um definitely just the fact that it's like something i genuinely love doing and i also really love meeting new people i feel like that's a big factor in why i'm still doing this today because i love talking to new people and meeting new people like if you know me you know and who finally the last question do you have snapchat and yes i do have snapchat my snapchat is right here so yeah you guys that was it for this video i hope you guys really enjoyed this um everybody was asking me to do a q a so i hope y'all run this up at least give me the 2k today when i post this video is that possible and just in case you don't know every other week i post twice a week along with my weekend video and follow my social medias at nine day on all platforms shop my brand down below I'll binge watch all my content because we trying to hit 4,000 watch hours so please with whatever you comment down below also leave a video request thank you very much and i will talk to y'all tomorrow bye <laughs>